Marcus has been dropped in as well. Yeah, yeah, well. well. It's almost like he needed to get through then. And Lorenzo has uh, been able to just maintain his pace in those mid 140s. Valentino Rossi played a part in this particular Yeah, uh, well, uh, the gap uh, now uh, is at 2.6, so it's steadied the ship a little bit as uh, Lorenzo. It's actually Marcus, his pace dropping, uh, but Rossi's has also just dropped back. Let's have a look at the start once more. What's Petros? I mean, Lorenzo's been having some shocking practice starts this week, Kevin. He does finally get it going. It's a very short run to turn one. Crosso tries to ride around the outside of Rossi, but Rossi has that inside line. But watch this from Lorenzo. Oh, well, you don't see it, but uh, on board with Pedrosa, that is a perfect start, just hovering around that 11,000 uh, rev mark. Great start from him, but you will see... Oh, oh there's Lorenzo, it's only pop up on the right-hand side of the screen. Oh, forced to sit the bike up, you can't quite see him even yet, there, there he is. is. <laughs> Very aggressive from Juan Lorenzo, very safe, but he made his intentions very clear indeed. This is Marcus, Valentino Rossi, Stefan Grant is already close to the end of the race. Yeah, those, I think, as we expected from the front row of the grid, led the way, but it's in turn two that Lorenzo thought back back. Live with Danny Pedrosa chasing that first win of the season. We're at the halfway point in the race, 13 and a half laps uh, gone, and... Uh, this is now 13 and a half to go. You really don't know what's going to happen in these next 13 laps. Because you just don't know how tire wear is going to continue. The lack of grip is going to continue. So we're settled into a little bit of a pattern now at the moment. There's Valentino Rossi. The real battle is at the moment between Alvaro Batista and Cal Crutchlow for fifth place. There's a, there is a good battle even further back as well. Tavizioso, Espargo, Pirro and Smith. All four of them are within a second and a half of each other. But there hasn't been any changing in terms of positions there. Well, we arrive at Cal Crunchlow. In front of him is Alvaro Batista. Twelve and a half laps to go. This is round three of the GP World Championship. Absolutely scorching hot conditions here in Arezzo. It has meant a real lack of grip. And these riders are taking it so, so carefully because they know it is just going to get worse. Batista crosses the line now in fifth place. Former 125cc winner. First look really at Nicky Hayden in seventh place, Nicky Hayden. So the top two catty, a bit of a lonely seventh place for him. Much low in front of him and a fair old gap between him and that battle for eighth. This is a lot hotter between Andrea De Vizioso, Alessio Spargo, Michele Pirro and Bradley Smith. Alessio Spargo at the moment doing a great job against Pirro and Smith. Michele Pirro on the development Ducati. Third uh, factory Ducati in the race this afternoon. Big, big test here tomorrow for all of the MotoGP teams. A very important test for Ducati where Davizioso and Hayden hope to ride that bike. The Pirro's racing at the moment. There's Davizioso. There's his father, Bradley Smith, learning his trade all the time. Just in behind him. Got a glimpse behind him of a Ross Mariano in 12th place. A former Grand Prix winner here. And there's Bradley Smith. Rock. Rosciano is a 250cc winner here. Four years ago, Bradley Smith won the uh, 125cc race. And it's the very same year, in fact, that Rosciano won the 250cc race. Betting himself in well now, Rosciano. Return to the MotoGP. Right, Danny Petrosa. Gap across the line. Was 2.9 through the last sector. Three seconds, perhaps, over the line now. Yeah, three seconds between Pedrosa and Lorenzo. And the gap then to Mark is a second. Rossi 2.8 back and Baptista and Crutchlow is really the only battle in those top spots. Which is a bit of a shame, of course. But it's it's the fireworks, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we did. It's the master class from Danny Pedrosa, isn't it? This is what happens when you get conditions, though, that you know, the tyres aren't working great, the track surface isn't you know, what uh, would be ideal. When it's cold in the morning, the rider says, brilliant, perfect. What's the grip? Once the temperatures rise, the uh, asphalt, the oil in it seems to seep out or something and it just gets extremely greasy out there. 
is my mark. Oh. Yeah, it's all Batista and Crosslow. What's up, well, guys? So Crosslow had obviously got back yeah. in front. Well, no, I think he actually got front in front coming into the corner, but gone to the outside line like he did with Rossi. And this time he's managed to stick it in there. Good spot going on here between uh, Bautista and Grotzo for fifth place. Grotzo will be disappointed to be even having to go through this battle, but through he goes into the stadium section now. Bautista right on his tail. They come through the Alex Bouvier corner, the fast right-hander, Ferrari corner after that before they line up the final turn. Jorge Lorenzo, turn 13, so. This is the only battle of the race so far, but the tyres can still play a massive, massive part. Uh, further down the order, uh, we uh, can just see Bradley Smith had gone off our picture and he's come back in, so I'm not sure whether he ran wide or something happened, but he just didn't trip the timing screen through the first sector. But he's put back onto it now, I had a, one of those worrying moments and think something there has happened. Goes right upon the brakes. We did say that the Bautista has been struggling, and as the race goes on, those problems will only get worse. Gap between Croatia and Lorenzo now 3.4 seconds across the line. Turns out that Johnny L is a uh, pit bull man, and one of his mechanics who uh, just focusing on this still. But there could be a sting in the tail yet, he will know that. We've got to just keep racing. Marquez is closing back once more as they're letting Lorenzo know. Can't ease off too much. <laughs> yeah, when Mark Marquez is behind you, nine laps to go when they cross the line. There is Lorenzo. Well, no, we'll have to give it another push. He had a really good push on the last few laps. But now we'll see that. Oh, goodness, we've got, got rid of the pesky little blighter. But he's there. He's hanging around. A great addition to uh, MotoGP, Mark Marquez so far. Third in a win in his first two races. If things stayed the same, I think that would almost be ideal for the championship. But with Lorenzo leaving, Pedrosa would be up there as well. Uh, I think he'd be uh, a point ahead or yeah, a point ahead of his teammate, Mark Marquez. That's Lucas Peshek. Uh, yeah, very early on in the race. His Peshek early on in yeah. the Pond's corner. We saw him crash yesterday at the Tour 1. He was fast to CRT, but Barber's behind his teammate Roger Ayama, as, as we saw before. And uh, actually, no credit to Ayama for that performance. Some team better on that than he did with some of the take in the uh, MotoGP. Last point is going to Danilo Petrucci on the other Iowa Suter. Corti, Edward, and Starling, the other three who are outside the points, but they're all in the battle with Petrucci for 15th place. Uh, it's going to be eight laps to go when they cross the line, and Marquez is certainly closing back up on Jorge Lorenzo, but as we saw previously when that happened, Lorenzo's made life very, very difficult for the youngster when he's actually caught up with it. Again, Marquez, a couple of tenths quicker on that last lap. Where can he find a way through? Hasn't managed to yet. Found it through on Rossi early on. It certainly didn't work down at turn six when we tried every manoeuvre to get there, didn't it? Mm, so where, where can you go? Into the stadium where Tad Crutchlow made it through on Bautista. The gap between those two is only point three. Fifth and sixth place, Crutchlow and Bautista. We're on board with Rossi. He's uh, a bit of a lonely race here. 3.8 to Marcus, 3.3 to Crutchlow behind. 
He's just waiting to pick up the pieces if anything goes wrong here. Down on the dry sack, they've come obviously, uh, Mark Marquez not close enough on this occasion. Seven and a half laps to go, this is the battle for second place. As both of them race winners in the opening two rounds. Marquez a couple weeks ago in Texas, four weeks ago in Qatar. Juan Lorenzo started the season with a victory there. Joint leaders in the World Championship. It's Danny Pedroza that leads the way. So, right away to the championship, that will be three separate winners in the opening three races. It's a shame it's all Spanish. It's a big outside Spain, although they're just all three champions. Three great riders. Very, very fast. Of course, we love to have Rossi, Trotto and Bolton as well, but no little catches as well. But it's just the way it is, and you can't argue with their pace and their, their talent. Well, Marcus trying to close down Lorenzo right Mepat in the second. Seemingly no problems at the moment for Danny Petrosa. And even if, even if he did have, have any now, he's got enough of a gap so that he can just leave it off, roll it off uh, over his last few laps, 3.3 seconds. And in fact, his teammate putting pressure on may just help him because if he starts to make any moves, look how wide the game Lorenzo from turn two. I don't know, there's some concerned faces there, but he's done well actually, Lorenzo. He's kept this pace going, as he said he would, around the mid-140s, throughout the race. Marcus has been a little bit up and down as he's both feeling these different things with the tyres. Ooh, uh, that was Stefan Babel early on in the race. Yeah, Brown two mm -hmm. crashes in the opening three races in the journey, the former Moto 2 world champion. Ideal situation for him. Back to the live races in the back of the second place. Marquez is inch by inch, metre by metre, closing up on Jorge Lorenzo. But as we saw previously, getting there, getting past him, which is very good story. Uh, and Ocean Spadler is still on uh, Andrea Vizioso here. He got through on turn one. Big slide from uh, Spadler coming down the back straight. This is where you think.